Welcome to South Omaha Speed. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about... <coughs> 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 cough drop in because I've been hacking for about a couple weeks now but getting over this crud so apologize for the cough drop but tonight we're in the shop and we're talking motor mounts and so we're putting the 301 and the 33 frame I got the frame box they're tacked in uh, I sent some information to my buddy Nate he's the one helping me build all my plates on a burn table that's what he does for a living and if you haven't watched the rear flame frame plate video it kind of describes how I do that and give him information so he can build he can build the stuff. We did the motor mounts a little different because he already had a lot of information. Um, I just had to give him some key measurements so he could design the stuff for me. So if we look at the engine real quick, I'll show you uh, the information I got off there, and then I got some stuff on the whiteboard too that we can look at. So we'll go from the engine to the frame, and then to the whiteboard. I'll kind of explain it, and I'll show you the pieces that he he cut. Okay, so this is the 1949 303 Oldsmobile that we're putting in the Omaha Coupe, just like. Bob Hartwell put a 49303 in the car back in 52 or early 53. And so this is a motor that came from Harold Schumann here in town. I recently did learn too, this last week after talking to an original JAX member uh, who I had not talked to before, that said that John Pierce was a JAX member. And this purple motor is out of uh, John Pierce's 40 Ford Coupe that they put back in the 50s. They installed this thing in, so back in Omaha. So uh, that's blew my mind. So we're actually putting a JAX member's car car club jacks back in the Omaha Coop. So couldn't be more thrilled. So anyway, as we look at the, the engine here, you see it's got this really cool mount on it. Maybe a Hurst mount, people have called it. So <clears throat> this actually structure that it's sitting on came from Schumann's. But when I got it here, I didn't get the cart from Schumann's. I had to put it in my own cart. So I set it on here and the oil pan, which is, yes, it's still got the leak and I got to fix the leak. Um, it's got a little crack in it, but <clears throat> it's actually five inches off the floor right now on this cart. So, and it's actually sitting at the same plane that it'll sit in the car. So basically this is the same height that's going to sit in the car. Um, so just totally got lucky on that one. So it doesn't get better than that when it's, it's sitting at, at right height, it'll be in the frame. And then I got the frame over here sitting at right height as well as I'm working on it. So that made it real easy. Um, if we look at the pictures here, you can kind of see where these four carburetors were they were uh, it was a custom intake that put a carburetor over each runner into the head so there was four runners going into the heads basically and each runner had a carburetor so based off this picture i got an idea of where the motor should go in the frame and so when you look at the boxing plates here it's the third hole back but right in the center it is where that motor mount will be so that makes it pretty easy. When I designed these plates, when I had Nate cut them, I told him I wanted to put a like a 3-8. These are actually 7 16 where the motor mount goes, but these other ones are all 3 8 So anywhere in here, I want to put a, I can come in here, I can just put a plate right in here and mount something if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to do one here with the motor mount, of course, but farther back, um, I'm probably going to do the cross member that way too. So uh, there's a lot of options here with those holes already pre-cut in those plates. So... I'm pretty excited about it. I learned that when I did my dad's 32 chassis here. Um, I did very similar, but I didn't put the small like 3 8 7 16 holes in between the big holes. On a couple places I did where I was trying to plan ahead, but if I just would have did it the whole length like on these, it just got all kinds of options. So anyway, let me turn it around, get set up for the whiteboard, and I'll show you what I sketched out. So there's the engine sitting on the stand. And let's get a little talking stick here. So the actual motor mounts where the, the plate that you sit on is 15 inches off the floor and it's they're 20 and a quarter apart as far as the spacing so when i come over here and look at the frame and i measure at the third hole back and i know we're going to cut a plate that mounts on these four holes that it's 15 inches off the ground i need i need it to be inch and a half taller at the frame right here and then when you look at the width from where i'm going to put that plate it's 26 and a quarter and this is 20 and a quarter. So we know we're gonna have to be three inches narrower on each side. 
So if, this is kind of a sketch I did. I actually drew Nate, one nut Nate, my buddy, who works the burn table. That's what he does for a living. I sent him a sketch. <coughs> Sorry, that was a little better than this, of course. But so this is the original frame. This is the new boxing plates that's tacked in over there with the holes in it. This is the new motor mount plate that will bolt to there. And then this here is the shape of the, the motor mount mate, the plate I sketched. And it shows it three feet over and an inch and a half up. And that's where that motor mount will hit. So that's kind of how I designed these plates. And so I'll show you the pieces he cut and I'll show you what they look like. And then I'm gonna tack one together too. Okay, so these are the plates. This is one side. This is the driver's side pieces right here to make up the driver's side motor mount. So these actually kind of go up in here like this. And he actually puts pins in them. He'll actually make a hole and put a little pin right there so things kind of fit together for me. Because that's what he does for a living. He's super smart. And I appreciate it because I would never probably get this stuff together if it wasn't for him doing cool stuff like that. And then this little hat sits up here on top like so. But I got one sitting up here already in the vise ready to tack. And I got all that uh, mill scale ground off already too. So and I 45 mitered my edges up here too. So when I weld those together, I have a really good place to weld inside that V. So anyway, get this uh, tacked up and, and welded and then we'll uh, bolt it up the car and see how it looks. So we got it all welded up and I got it bolted down to the frame so you can check it out, see what it looks like finished. Pretty excited about it. Should do the trick. There's a part to the other side and tomorrow night I'll tack it together and make sure it looks like this side and weld it up. So, all right, moving on. Uh, thanks so much for watching, appreciate you. Uh, tell the neighbors and the friends, all that stuff. Catch you next time on Self and Haunt Speed. Thank you.